Today, I have the honor of chatting with the living legend, Ms. Mary J. Blige, queen of hip hop soul. Mary, your career spans over years and years and years. And your projects that you've released not only resonate with yourself, but your millions of fans. What can viewers expect from this documentary and what makes it compelling? Well, what they can expect is the journey um, of the My Life album, what the process that I'm, I lived through to get to it, the pain that I lived through to get to it. Why is there so much pain in the My Life album? The, the uh, interviews that I give explain that. And um, the testimonies from the fans and what it did for their lives, how it, they say it saved their lives, how it helped them to be better people, how it helped them in their lives. Testimonies of fans and friends and peers, testimonies of uh, um, producers that produced on the album and just how we got there, you know, we had to go from the, what's the 411 album to get to the My Life album and just, you know, family, just, just, it's, it's really deep. And what's compelling about it is that, you know, the things I had to travel back to, the painful things I had to travel back to, to show people where all of the challenges came from that went into the My Life album. And speaking of the My Life album, in the documentary, you say that this second album is the most important album that you created. What is it that you cherish about that album? The fact that um, in the documentary, I speak about how I was suicidal and I was suicidal. I didn't want to live. I didn't like myself. I thought it was everything about me was horrible. And how I'm here to tell a story. Like, I lived through that. My fans lived through that. And that's what's important, that we're here to tell the story. That's why the documentary is important now, because we're all living to tell the story. Definitely. Mary J. Blige, you are an icon. We all know that. But what makes Mary J. Blige one of the girls? Do you watch Netflix? Do you eat junk food? What makes you one of us? Oh, my God. Everything. <laughs> um, I eat terrible, <laughs> but I do work out. I watch Amazon Prime constantly. I'm a horror movie buff. I love a horror movie. I watch um, Netflix and all kinds of weird, crazy things. Um, what makes you, me one of you is that I'm a human being. You know, she, the stuff you go through, I go through. I love clothes. I love hair. I love jewelry. I love, you know, I, I love having fun with my girlfriends and drinking wine and partying. You know, I'm, I'm a regular chick. <laughs> When we think of Mary J. Blige, we think of the thigh-high boots, the short shorts, the shades, the hoop earrings, the furs. What article of clothing puts you in full-blown Mary J. Blige mode when it's time to hit the stage? Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have the boots. Thigh-high, right? Nothing lower. The boots. I, I mean, sometimes if it's a good pair of um, booties, I, I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mary J. Blige, on the My Life album, Happy is the very last song. And you say that you wrote that because you wanted to be happy. Yes. Are you happy now? I'm content with Mary. Yes, I am. I'm content. I'm happy because, not because life is perfect, because I understand that life will not be perfect, you know, and I can handle whatever challenges come. But in the meantime, I'm content with myself. I love myself. And I'm continually to work on myself. It's, it's a, it's a, I'm a work in progress every day. And last question, how proud are you of your overall journey? I'm extremely proud. I can, I can say that now. I'm, I'm proud. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm proud. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome.